This is Robin Nelson with Horror Pop After Midnight Podcast, and my special guest is Charles Martinet. Yep. Hello to all my friends in Cincinnati. It's me, Super Mario, you number one. <laughs> the, it's so amazing you've been voicing Mario and the other characters for 30 years. How does that feel? It's absolutely magnificent. You know, I always say to people, do what you love to do in life. Find your destiny, find your heart, and it turns out that life is you're the hero of your own video game so do what you love to do because when you're seeking your own happiness you bring it to other people I think that's a that's a key to life so of all the fans you've met that uh, resonated through you what was some of the most memorable moments of some of the fans that came up to you oh there's so many of them you know I remember four boys in Australia saying can you sign our foreheads and I did I signed their foreheads I I remember one of my fond things is You know, I have people that are 50 years old that say, you know, you were the voice of my childhood. I played with my grandfather now, and my grandmother now. I'm playing with my kids. And I, of course, there's the odd five-year-old who says, you're the voice of my childhood. And that just touches your heart, you know. It's very sweet. That's giving me a tear in my eye a little bit. Right? It's, It's amazing. It's so beautiful. People are so wonderful, you know. You you look at the newspapers in the world and you, you listen to the TV broadcast, and it can make you think the worst of people. But people are genuinely all wonderful, and we're all we're all just beautiful, sweet souls, and in, in, in this incredible adventure. So, besides voice and Mario, what do you enjoy as well? Do you have like a, a fandom you like? Do you have any hobbies? I I travel. I get on a plane and I fly to these wonderful Comic Cons. I mean, so happy to be here in the, the, the Cleveland Fan Expo and meeting all these marvelous people in cosplay and having a great time in this tremendous environment. But when I'm not flying to a, a Comic Con, I fly to go see places. I was just in Egypt for three weeks, absolutely marvelous. Flew to all the way down to Abu Simbel and saw this, these incredible monuments all alone in them, you know, in Luxor and Aswan and going to, uh, to Abu Dhabi and to United Arab Emirates, seeing people and food and culture from all over the world is a huge passion for me. What was your favorite uh, dish while you were over in Egypt? Oh, gosh. You know, we, we, when the, we first started, we were right at uh, the hotel that overlooks two of the pyramids in Giza, and they had the most marvelous you know, hibiscus tea which the the maitre d ended up giving me a bag of hibiscus leaves so i could make my own hibiscus tea there's a a wonderfulness and a gentleness and a sweet soul of of uh, the egyptian people it was really great and the food was terrific so um so how many conventions have you been to in your whole lifetime through the 30 years of your career oh my goodness quite a few i my first actually the first mario job i did was at consumer electronics so ces 1992 january 6th i think it started and we were there we were suddenly live with mario on the screen uh, hello it's me super mario and talking with fans right there that was many years ago so it's it's been a couple hundred <laughs> So, do you have all the games and play with them as well? I don't have all the games, but I do play Mario games a lot. I can always tell, I'm not very good, but I can always find out that the princess is not in this castle. That's pretty good. And thank you so much for you know, taking your time to have this fun interview with me. Sure, and thank you very much for playing my games. You're number one. Woohoo! Thank you.